as a grade 12, the new grade 12 student, I just want you to know that it's okay to um, feel down or lose motivation during the way sometimes, but don't forget like to trust yourself and believe in yourself. If um, uh, if I or other grade A student can do it, you can do it too. A uh, greetings, everyone. I'm Usa from Cambodia Next. So today I'm so grateful and honored to have Suthi Dariyana, who is grad A student uh, from the recent uh, grad 12 national exam. Uh, so uh, uh, Yana, I'm so happy to have you today in our interview. So talking about the feeling when you got to know that you received grade A, uh, could you please recall to that moment how, how's your feeling? Um, at the time, I was very nervous about the result, and then um, my dad sent it to me, and um, I screamed, I screamed, and I went to hug my grandma, and it feels like a dream. So yeah, now you are the one of the only two students in your uh, school uh, who come from uh, Bà Đồng Province who received grade A. So are uh, can you tell us like your teachers and uh, your school's uh, feeling when they know that you receive uh, grade A? Um, um, in the morning of the, um, the day that the, they released the result, yes. um, all my teachers, like they text me and um, ask, um, ask me if, um, whether if I get the grade A or what grade do I get and they were very happy to hear my result. Yes, uh, you mentioned that your dad sent you the result, but, but why you didn't go to uh, see a result uh, by yourself at that time? Um, because I was very nervous and I'm scared that I'm, I won't get A mm -hmm. and I cannot take it. So oh. um, I told my mom not to go, but when I woke up, uh, my grandma told me that she went to the school already, so I, I don't know. Uh, before the result announcement, did you expect that you would receive grade A? I did. I expect a lot, actually. Um, I think, like, I want a grade A, and if I don't get, I don't think I can accept it. Uh, okay, so it seems like you have planned before, uh, you have, like, a very prepared preparation before the national exam. So could you highlight like uh, the process of your preparation, whether it, like you want grade A, you intend to receive grade A since you were in grade 10 or just have the motivation to get that grade in grade 12? Um, when I was in 11th grade, I um, saw a lot of my um, like seniors Yes. Yeah, they, they got A's and they were r very happy and I want to experience that feeling too. So I decided that I want to get A. So when I um, start 12th grade, I start um, to study a lot and do a lot of uh, like exercise and um, revise for the exam. Mm. Uh, talking about the time management, because uh, for graduate students, they have many subjects to study and to review. Uh, so uh, can you share some tips for time management uh, for students who are also uh, intend to get grade A in their national exam? Um, I think in the beginning of the year, um, you should do a lot of like math exercise problems and try to solve it. And then when um, there's like three or four months left, um, you should revise for the exam so you won't forget. Mm. Uh, so it means that uh, from like morning to uh, until night, you spend a lot of time and a lot of efforts into reviewing and studying from uh, teachers and studying by your own. Uh, so sometimes do you lose motivation? Um, definitely. like. Um, I feel down mm. like all the like a lot mm. and my um, my grandma my mom they encourage me to study and also my teachers they see that um, 
they see, they know that I feel down. I have no motivation left, and they still try to push me um, to get the result I want. Mm. Uh, so you have mentioned that you have prepared since the beginning of grade 12. So, uh, and you have also mentioned that you lost motivation sometimes, you also fell down. So, um, do you think friends factor, like, uh, also a motivation for you to go on to achieve your dream? Because, uh, as I know, uh, you are all in your class, there are, there are two students who receive grade A, and she is also your friend. So, do you think she is, or your friends are also the factors that motivate, motivate you to go on, to keep going? Um, yes, and I'm very thankful for them. Um, um, I have like four or five friends and we study together and we, we do last motivation together and we try to hype each other up along the way. Um, from my perspective, I think um, uh, grade A is very like an amazing opportunities for the student. Um, because like after I received grade A's, I I got a few scholarship in um, uh, like amazing and well known universities, and I think it's uh, it's benefits a lot, and you can uh, I can help my families along the way as well. Uh, before moving on to your uh, study major or uh, future plans, uh, but can you please highlight like among the subjects that you have prepared for the national exam, which subject that you think is the most difficult? Um, I was scared of uh, physics. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was not very good at it, but I know I'm good at math. So um, if I got like high scores at math, it will um, bring the physics is into um, the mm. like the scores level for grade A. I, you you told you told me that you are not good really good at physics and not really good. You are scared of physics. Uh, so uh, like at that time, uh, do you did you like manage time like give it give physics more time for reviewing? Um, at first I. I don't really study for physics. I I I hate it. Oh. Yeah. Um, but then um, there's a few months left, and I start to panic because I I think I can do it, and if my physics score is low, I can get that A. Mm. So I try to like um, practice a lot of uh, physics exercise and try to like I study a lot. Uh, physics. Uh, talking about the grades that you receive in each subject, can you highlight how many A that you got? Uh, how many subjects that you got A? Um, I got four A's in uh, math, physics, biology, and history. Oh, see, your effort <laughs> paid off. I, earlier you said that you are scared of physics, and now you got yes. A in physics. Let's talk about your uh, major in the university. So have you, uh, up until now, have you thought of any major that you are like or that you intend to study? Um, I'm looking forward to study um, accounting and finance. The reasons why you choose uh, that major? Um, the main reason is because I like math and I like numbers in general. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Uh, which university you are going to? Um, I'm going to Kemet Business School. Uh, so like you have plans before knowing the result, or you just recently heard from your seniors that it's a good, and you follow them? Um, actually, I've heard of the school for a long time, mm -hmm. and from friends, family, and um, yeah, my seniors as well. They also study there, and. Um, I got to know the school, and I feel like it's a great school for my major. Mm. Uh, uh, so, like, besides uh, that major or besides that school, do you have any plans to uh, study another major or any plans to apply any scholarship abroad? 
because like uh, for us generally, like in in year one, we also can apply a scholarship abroad. But do, do you also have uh, that feeling or plan? Um, actually, I do. I plan to um, apply for a scholarship to go abroad, but um, not this year. I mm. want to um, like take it slow and uh, move into the city and get to know um, the city as well. Okay, so it's been that uh, you move from uh, Banabong province to receive like a uh, bachelor degree here in uh, Phnom Penh City. Uh, so, uh, like you also have plan, but you you mentioned that you want to take it slowly. Uh, but uh, the I want to ask like uh, details about about your interest in accounting and business. You you mentioned that you uh, like mathematics and you like. Uh, numbers so much, uh, but um, why do you think that major is important for yourself and your family and your, the society as a whole? Um, as choosing ma major, the most important thing is like choose, choose the one that you love and um, um, it has um, good opportunities when um, you go to work. So I think it's a good major and it's not like um, it's not tight when um, you graduate it, you can easily find work. So my last question is, uh, could you please provide some motivation, inspiration and tips for students who are, who intend to receive grade A uh, and they, they somehow they lost motivation just like you? Um, for the grade 12, the new grade 12 student, I just want you to know that it's okay to um, feel down or last motivation during the way sometimes but don't forget like to trust yourself and believe in yourself if um, uh, if I or other grade A student can do it you can do it too